What up guys, it is Welsh and yes, she here bringing you another video. This is a tips guide for all of you that are playing career mode. And we're bringing out a few tips which are, in my opinion I think you should actually consider doing. Because on every single video, I can basically, what team should I go, what player should I buy, I have this amount of money, and what should I get, what should I do with it. So and you guys are going to give my opinions and what I think you should guys should actually do when actually starting a career mode. So let's get this underway. Tip number one guys, a lot of people ask me all the time is what team should I go? In my opinion, you shouldn't go any team you want. There's no one. But it, uh, just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be going, to be going red in. There is no difference. They go around 2 million. But the only negative which I can actually say guys is that you may go to a league such as MLS or A-League. And they could say if you try to buy sign players from like Premier League, they would say the league is not prestigious enough for them. So that's a kind of back draw you'll have with that. But any other league, you should be mighty fine in. Any other team you can go, it doesn't really matter. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's now move on to the budget accumulation. Uh, with this guy's what it actually does, it changes your wage and how much transfer uh, money you got. For example, if you have around 1.2 million, um, if you have 50-50, you can have around 24,000 budget. So with this like, budget accumulator, guys, in my opinion, it doesn't really matter. You should have it like really 50-50. But it might, if you are a low league side, uh, for example, Reading, or if you're a lower league side again, I, you ought to put it right down to the bottom, down to north, so you just got all these wages. Then you can sign a lot of players on loan, such really good players, such as uh, Fleetway Cantino, Obi, uh, El Sharari, all these young players from abroad. So let's go on to the next bit, which is actually going to be the players which you should buy. Okay, so we are now on the players to actually buy. So in my opinion, guys, you want to be going for your 74 rated stuff like that for your loanies. The ones which I usually go for is this guy called Felipe Cantino. He plays for the Inter Milan. He also got a partner, uh, which is uh, Obi. He also plays for Inter Milan. And also we have got the one and only El Sharari. There are many players. You just have to have a look around. They usually have around a £20,000 wage loan. So if you have around a 50k mark, uh, you kind of happy days with it. But don't forget, mind you, you can actually sell players. Another player, in my opinion, which you should actually buy, it is this guy called Wynn. He has 96 pace, and he got to be the one of the cheapest guys you could ever guy get for a centre back. He plays for MLS guys. He plays for Colorado Rapids. I think you can get him on loan for the first one, and then maybe buy him in January when he gets more dollar. Um, in my opinion, when you actually sell and plays, you want to be going for just the ones which you think, oh, they're getting old now, they don't, we don't exactly need him. For example, as you can see here, while well, I'm actually showing you now. But before you actually start going on to this, you want to try and decide your starting lineup because you don't want to be selling players which you mostly need. So after this, I'm going to be showing you the starting lineup for this actual team. So as you can see right now, guys, this formation I'm actually going to be going most likely is 4 4 2. So as you know, I'm going to be bringing in these new signings, which I'll show you in a minute. So you can take into consideration, right, okay then, and I can actually sell some of my midfield. I can sell one or two of them, and then because you've actually bought in these two new signers. And with that, you get more wages, which means you can get bring in more free loanies or actually buy another player. Okay, so here come in my new signings. We have got OB, Fleetway Cantino, and also the goalkeeper, John Smith. And uh, what with this, guys, what actually helps you, if you look on the right-hand side, it actually shows you what positions are taken, uh, so it can help you actually uh, sell players that you don't actually need. For example, John Smith, there are four goalkeepers, I can sell the rest of the goalkeepers. Another tip which I think is really crucial, in my opinion, is maybe consider playing one or two friendlies, just to do with the fact you can actually pick the formation which suits you. You can pick the team lineup which suits you, because you don't want to be going into the league, and you're kind of struggling, oh, wait a minute, um, I don't really know what formation I like now, I'm like in 4-5-1 but I'm playing really bad in 4-4-2 at the moment and you don't want to be keep switching round all the time so friendlies are a big crucial point, I know people don't like playing them but they do help you out quite a bit ok guys that is it from me now I'm going to mention some stuff which uh, you may post in the comments, I don't know if you will uh, post in the comments if you have got any queries or whatnot. I may make another video and, I'll, and I will definitely reply to you in the comments um, a lot of people may mention about like the scouting and stuff should you consider doing it um, in your first year if you are a really low rated team in my opinion you shouldn't just do the fact that you ain't get, you haven't got the money you can't afford to actually send out and get young players maybe in January if you end up winning a cup or so, well not exactly in January maybe next season if you end up winning a cup or you sell some more players you can actually bring in some good uh, 
uh, young youngsters and they send them out on loan. But in my opinion, you should be at a higher rated team or something like that if you're trying to bring youngsters in. And that will help you out loads. Um, and that's basically it in my opinion. Uh, post in the comments, guys. Uh, you, how you play manager. What tips would you give to other people? And as well, guys. Uh, what is your favourite team ever? That's another comment question day. Or what team would you pick, actually? Because I get a lot of people saying, what team should I pick? After this, guys. What team would you pick in uh, to go as a manager mode? So thank you very much, guys. My name is Welsh and ESG. And I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you very much, guys. And peace off, guys. Bye.